Hi there. If you're a real estate agent using Notion as your CRM, I'm going to be taking you through a really easy hack to automate the recurring tasks that you have for each and every client that you work with. Um, in this example, I'm going to be using my buyer CRM, but you can do the same thing with your seller CRM. So you'll notice that in each of my clients here, I have at the bottom a list of action items, and they are the same action items which eat with each and every client that I have. So what I want to do is they that these action items populate every time I create a new buyer. And obviously, you want to be able to personalize this list here. So the way to do that is, is here, when you go hover on the right upper side of the database, you'll see new and you'll see a little arrow here. So you're going to click on that little arrow and you can see that I've already created a template for this database called new buyer. So what you can do is edit that template. And this is where all your templates live. So if you wanted a different kind of template, um, maybe a template for your condo buyers, a different template for your residential buyers or freehold buyers, for your commercial buyers, etc., you can create different templates with different action items depending on the type of client that you're working with. So here I only have one here, so called new buyer. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this template. So this is where I would edit what I wanna be automatic when I create a new buyer. So I created the status as new lead because when I create a new buyer, it's gonna be new lead. And then I can change that status if I, if, if I choose to, but automatically it's gonna be a new lead when I create a new um, buyer client in my CRM. And then here is where I would change the action items. So you can change these according to your process and your steps that you take with each of your clients. So you see here, you're editing a template in buyer database. So if I change anything in here, let's say I just add a bullet point at the end, but change whatever you want within this template. And then I close it up. Okay. Now, every time I create a new buyer, new, and I open them up, you'll see that these action items that I've just edited show up at the end. And you'll see my extra bullet point, which means that it, that I did in fact change the template and that this new template will be applied to each and every new new buyer client that I add to my CRM. So now let's say that you already have buyers in the CRM, but you want to update them with your new um, with your new template. So the way to do that, so let's say that in this example client, I had a bunch of items here, but I want to update this with the new template that I've just created or just updated. So the way to do that would be to highlight all of this and delete. So I would completely delete this. And then you'll see that because it's an, now an empty page, you can select one of the templates that you have in this database. So if I click on new buyer here, which is the template I just edited, you will see it populate with the new action item template list that you have just created. So, and then obviously, as you go through these items with a client, you can check them off and make sure that you get everything done. All right, so that was my quick walkthrough for today. Um, this is actually a question that I got from one of the awesome real estate agents that bought this template called the Ultimate Agent Hub. Um, so I'm glad that I was able to answer that question and share with the rest of you. That's it for me. So thanks for watching. I'm Jess. I love working with Notion and helping others build thriving and productive businesses with Notion. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care.